Yo, what's up guys? My name is Justin. Welcome back to Justin Gamble Gamble. We are in Los Angeles and we're making another sports car vlog. Cue the video. I've been getting dirty money, Jordan Bell third. Guys, there apparently is this new shop that opened up near the airport and apparently it's crazy. I want to make a video just showing it off because hopefully we can make some deals. If you guys are going to be at the Burbank card show this week, please come say hi. We're going to be set up. We have a booth there. I don't know the exact table number right now, but we will be there. Try and pick up some cards real quick before the show starts. If you guys enjoy the videos, please drop a like, drop a comment, and if this video gets 300 comments and 500 likes, we'll upload two videos a day during the Burbank Card Show. Let's see if we can hit it. And this is the place. Told you we're making a sports card vlog. This is the Bullpen Sports HQ. Look how insane this place is. Give you a quick little tour, and hopefully we can make a deal. Look at how crazy this store is, though. This is such a vibe. Got a basketball court when you walk in. All these exposed beams. This is pretty dope. Look at all that wax. I like the trade night rules though. No setting up like a card show. <laughs> and we have security, so please don't do anything stupid. I like that. Dude, look at this insane selection of like MJs and stuff here. Kobe with Irving, MJ, Kobe, LeBron. I didn't even realize that, a triple. Oh, that, that's not 7,000, that's a 70,000. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> My bad. And then this one is nasty. We got Kobe MJ Garnett. That's epic. Look at that patch. This stuff is crazy in here. Picked up a card. This is pretty sick. Peyton Manning Navy Camo to 25 PSA 10. That's a pretty good price too. There's not many times where I've ever like looked at a sticker price and been like, you know, that actually sounds fair. <laughs> but this was dope. Got this Peyton Manning for $150. PSA 10 Navy Camo blue color match. Like, bro, put a sticker on this thing. The good thing about cards like this, there's not that many sales. So. I'm gonna put a sticker on this thing for like 400 bucks. Got for 150. The raw does like 120. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> this card shop that we're at though is actually so dope. I wish all card shops looked like this because it's so open. I feel like I'm at a show right now, but I'm at a card shop. In LA. It's good one, two, three, like Mike right now. Play too far. How do we know? Check on the board. I'm up in the score. Down the floor. I'm taking the Lord. Okay, I have a question for you, Joe. Okay, here we go. <laughs> How much do you think, out of Flawless, a LeBron James, no auto, just a patch? How much do you think those go for? I'm gonna say like, it probably shouldn't be, but I'm gonna say a shitload just because he doesn't sign. I saw one of his patches from Flawless sell for 15 bands. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I wasn't thinking that high. No, <laughs> they are massive. The reason why I bring it up is I'm looking at these patches, and these patches are pretty fucking cool. Yes, they're not flawless, but that one is nuts. I'm gonna pull up receipts. I'm not kidding. Look at this shit. This is not an auto. It is just a patch sold on auction for $10,000. Are you shitting me? A mem card. $10,000. Brother, is that like the most overpriced card ever, or is that a good deal? I don't know. Is that value? But what do I know? It definitely has something to do with the fact that LeBron hasn't signed a product in like 10 years. It has to be, right? Yeah. Let me see what else. Just typed in LeBron James flawless patch. Oh, look at this. Not, not graded. Number to five, flawless. See this guy? 2.1 catch. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you know how much like a J Fields Prism Auto goes for in a 10? Like barely 2K. <laughs> like, I'm not comparing like LeBron to J Fields, but like that's insane. This is not even graded. Raw. This is not just like a one-time thing. BGS9 to number to 15. Damn near 2.2. <laughs> What are we doing here, bro? It's also bro? a Cavs patch, too, so it's not even his current team. It's insane. Maybe that's something I need to get into. I need to start learning new ways to make money in the hobby. Like, if I showed you that card, you'd probably be like, oh, what's it, like, 300 bucks? bucks? Yeah. I'd be like, yeah, 400 bucks. No, not even close. You know what the fucked up thing is, bro? How huh. many of those cards have we passed on at shows when we're going to someone's- A shitload. Because I've always thought this whole time they were, like, 200 bucks. I'm like, yeah, no one's going to buy this shit. I don't want to know that. Like, oh, no, apparently they are. We need to change the game, brother. I'm buying everything now. <laughs> Hockey, Garbage Pail Kids, soccer, whatever it is. Kids. LeBron patches, everything, bro. The jackass cards. <laughs> Game of Thrones cards. <laughs> Give me all your Jon Snows, baby. Come on, bring them on. Dude, there is just an insane amount of wax in this place. It's not even fair. Like, they has got all this. Why not? Oh, they have my favorite set, the Jackass set. <laughs> 
<laughs> but seriously though, look at all this. This is crazy, bro. Of <laughs> Game of Thrones cards. All jokes aside, I've really been looking into hockey cards. I think there's so much value. I picked up not too long ago from Bridgeport, a Patrick Kane Young Guns PSA 10. And there is a card in here that kind of cool to me. A Jonathan Taze Young Guns PSA 8. But I think I'd rather just get the 10. If anyone has a Jonathan Taze Young Guns PSA 10, I'm interested. I grew up in Chicago and I played hockey my whole life, so it'd be kind of dope to have the pair. The 8 looks ugly as fuck. I actually don't want the 8. 10 would be sick. <laughs> Dual dimes would be sick. We were at the bar last night and this guy was talking about sports cards to Joe. That's crazy. He's like, yo, I pulled fucking bat. <laughs> he, he thought he pulled a Corbin Carroll from Topps Chrome Auto, right? He got my information, right? This morning he texted me and goes, yo, this is the card. It's a Tristan Casas. It's still cool, <laughs> but like, you know, not, not the guy, you know? It's like, it's like he told me, hey, I pulled a Justin Fields. Cool. And then he sends me a Kyle Trask. It's basically what happened. I'm like, oh, okay. Like, <laughs> well, the, the, but the funnier story is Joe is like, yo, this dude wants to sell it for 2K. Yeah. This thing's going for 15. <laughs> He's like, if I get this for 2K, I'm cooking. I thought it was a true orange Corbin Carroll. I'm like, bro, if I get this thing for $2,000, I'm making a lot. Then he sends me like that. I'm like, oh, no, no not, not 2K. Like, it's worth like 600 bucks. Like, I'll give you four. <laughs> Damn it. Joe was so excited was last night. Like average, <laughs> <laughs> so, so not Corbin Carroll. No, not not 15000 No, not. It's not even close. <laughs> 600 bucks. All right. Hello, girl. Whiskey. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you guys have friends like sports cards, please share them Justin Gamble. Whoa. Please share them Justin Gamble Gamble. But until then guys, I'll see you tomorrow with the new vlogs. Peace.